morning, YouTube. This morning we're going to do a open up. We're going to be reading out of Ezekiel chapter 14. And uh, we start in verse 19. Let's get it. Or if I send pestilence into the land and pour out my fury on it in blood and cut off from it man and beast, even though Noah, Daniel, and Jacob were in it, as I live, says the Lord God, they would deliver neither son nor daughter. They would deliver only themselves by their righteousness. <laughs> For thus says the Lord God, How much more it shall be when I send my four severe judgments on Jerusalem. Severe evil. Okay. The sword and famine and wild beasts and pestilence to cut off man and beast from it. Yet behold, there shall be left in it a remnant who will be brought out, both sons and daughters. Surely they will come out to you, and you will see their ways and their doings. Then you will be comforted concerning the disaster that I have brought upon Jerusalem, all that I have brought upon it. Excuse me. And they will comfort you when you see their ways and their doings and you shall know that I have done nothing without cause that I have done in it says the Lord God 15 15 verse 1 then the word of the Lord came to me saying son of man how is the wood in the vine better than any other wood how is the wood of the vine better than any other wood? The vine branch, which is among the trees of the forest, is wood taken from it to make any object? Or can men make a peg from it to hang any vessel on? Instead, it is thrown into the fire for fuel. The fire devours both ends of it, and its middle is burned. It is useful, useful for any work. Is it useful for any work? Indeed, when it was whole, no object could be made from it. How much less will it be useful for any work when the fire has devoured it and it is burned? Therefore says the Lord God, therefore thus says the Lord God, like the wood of the vine among the trees of the forest, which I have given to the fire for fuel, which I have given to the fire for fuel, so I will give up the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And I will set my face against them. They will go out from one they will go out from one fire. But another fire shall devour them. Then you shall know that I am the Lord when I set my face against them. Thus I will make the land desolate because they have persisted in unfaithfulness, says the Lord God. <clears throat> Are you faithful? I'm asking me. Am I faithful? I know that I slip. I know that I sin. I know that I'm not perfect. Well, where's your heart at? You know, I'm going to keep coming back to where is your heart at? Do you, in the times that you find yourself slipping and falling and sinning and whatever, the, whatever it may be, there's no light and darkness and no dark and light. So evil is evil and good is good. So if you find yourself doing things that are not good you know they're evil right 
do you run to him? You, no matter what, man, it, it's it's a. <laughs> the man that says he has no sin is a liar. The Bible says that. Because <laughs> we're still men. We haven't been given our new bodies. We're still here in this evil place. Ran by the dictator, the liar, the father of liar, lies. <sighs> Telling us we're free when we're not. <laughs> yeah. A lot of you guys that follow my channel know by now that I've obviously went to prison for things I haven't done. And uh, it saddens me when I see somebody else facing time for something they haven't done. But the system doesn't care, see? The beast system. The world doesn't care. They want that money. Doesn't matter whose life they ruin. You, you think about it, we got CYFD, they ruin families. Instead of letting the families deal with themselves, they inter interfere and say they're doing a good thing, but they're not. Are you faithful? No matter what happens to us here, do you stay faithful? Do you keep running to him? Are you chasing his face? Do you want to see him? Is your hope for something better than anything this world can offer? <laughs> Mine is. <laughs> Everything that we have has been given to us by Him. Everything. When we die, we can't take nothing with us. The only thing that we take, our works follow us, and our soul, our spirit, and what we've learned of. <laughs> Our creator. I was pagan for a long time. I used to read runes, read my rune book every day and pray to Odin. And, <coughs> and when I screwed up, I prayed to Loki and, you know, did the, the Viking thing, you know. In 2006, I gave my life to Christ because I kept finding myself in these, I don't know, it's, it's strange, man. I, it's always been, oh, I almost made it, you know? Just like now I'm on probation for a felon with a firearm. I mean, I was almost to the 10 years, right? And that's how my life has been. You almost made it, uh oh, but not quite. <laughs> you know, it's just, uh, I've, for instance, another good what is, is is my wife's car, okay? Now Ford put a recall on the, the electrical rack and pinion. <laughs> and they'll replace it for free if it's within 10 years or 150,000 miles. Now this car only has a 70, a little over 70,000 on it right now. It's a 2012, so it's it was made in February, so it's just two months over the 10 year. You see what I'm saying? And my life has been like that, so we got to come out of pocket to pay for the, to fix our car, even though it's a safety hazard and a recall on the electrical rack and pinion. And the part costs $700. You see what I'm saying? My whole life has been like that. And, and but I still got to just say, thank you, Father. Thank you. You know, are you faithful? 
What does the Bible tell you to do? It says, be thankful in all circumstances. Be thankful in all circumstances. It's not easy. Not easy for me. I know it ain't easy for you because it isn't easy for me. <laughs> right? <laughs> so I did a, a porch read and ponder this morning. What you see is what you get with me, man. This is me. Here I am. Still striving, still seeking God's face and in all circumstances. You know? <laughs> you know, there was a time we had no cars. We didn't have a car and we lived three and a half miles out of town. And uh, our, our, our daughter, she's six now, but she was barely newborn, little bee thing. And uh, I'd run jog all the way to town get groceries fill my backpack full uh, baby formula and whatnot and I'd walk all the way back and I did that for quite some time and I stayed thankful because I was thankful that we were able to get what we needed I'm able to walk down the road my feet are working my hearts are working there's a lot to be thankful for. Be thankful for even when it seems like we're just having it rough. And I feel like I've had it rough all my life. <laughs> oh, boy. Just hold on. Hold on. He's coming. He's coming, man. That's my hope. There's got to be something better than this. And I know that there is. Because there's a lot that we just can't explain, you know. Even these scientists. <laughs> uh, shoot, boy. Well, we know who the number one scientist is, the creator. Right. You guys be blessed, man. God over everything. Jesus is my king. Bye.